This is as full screen as it's going to get. Yeah, that's... that's. Okay. I get to watch the shittiest version of this. This is pretty epic. Behold! The king of the Koopas! Let's go, it's Jack Black. Oh, it's literally oh, Jack Black, I want to hear this, I want to hear this, I want to hear this. <laughs> Say something. Come on, man. Open the gates! Yo, that didn't sound like Jack Black. That did not sound like him. Attack! <laughs> That is for the taste of our fury. Where's Mario? Do you see? <laughs> for real, bro, this is his movie. <laughs> I do. Okay, not. there's Jack Black. That sale. The animation looks great. I was gonna Visually, say this looks really it looks good. Awesome. I finally found it. Now who's gonna <laughs> stop me? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm like amazed right now. What is this place? Well, okay, so he's just gonna be Chris Pratt. Bro, it's just Emmett from the Lego. So it's movie. just Chris. Yeah, it's it's just him doing another. It's, it's him being Emmett from the Lego Movie. This is insane. This is the majority of the trailers already gone. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we go! Oh my come. gosh, no. Dude, he has like the slightest tinge of Mario. Like the smallest Wait. amount you could possibly, like the minimum. <laughs> They're like, add a little bit more Mario. Wait, I want to hear that part again. Yeah, hit it again. There's a little, there's a, a bit after that too, so. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! That was the smallest bit of Italian action like, I've just ever heard enough. ever. Like, he's just a little Italian. One percent. Just a little. Just a teensy bit Italian. There it is! Do you hear that? No! That's all I needed. Ah! Hell yeah. My guy! My guy! That's all I needed Love here. Charlie Day. Dude, I don't, yeah, honestly, I wasn't prepared for the smallest amount of Italian. I was totally expecting that, but it's weird hearing it. I thought he was going to do the high-pitched voice. You thought he was going to... I thought he was going to try to just stick it the whole time. You thought Chris Pratt was going to stick it, bro? Yes. No way, bro. No so way. So he's just doing, it's Chris Pratt, but like with a little... He said he'll, he'll put like a he'll put like a vowel at the end of each word. I was about to say, yeah, he'll like spice it up every other word, like when he feels like it. I'm trying to think of feel? yeah how he would talk. Oh. What are your immediate thoughts? Like I said, visually looks great. Look, can't wait to see more Jack Black. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely going to be the funniest guy alongside like just laughing about Chris Pratt. Laughing at Chris Pratt now with Chris Pratt. Sorry, sorry, bud. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. We're laughing at you. Uh, he's still. I don't he's think. Still getting I don't paid th for this though. So. Yeah, I was like, you can't take anyone seriously doing a Mario, like being Mario, any actor. The littlest Mario impression. Yeah. Um, how much do you think this is gonna make? Uh, what did what did Endgame make? You think this is gonna make? be like Minions too? What did Endgame make? <laughs> The number one, the newest, the biggest yeah. fucking movie to ever exist. The Super Mario movie. I think it's going to... You know what? I hope we hype this up so much and it makes like no, a bunch I of money. No, I yeah, I'm can't wait. I'm going to hype this up so much. Because honestly, it looks, it, it looks, looks good. It looks good. I want to watch this movie. I'm going to go watch it. <laughs> yeah. We're watching it again. It's, yeah, me, you, and Sean will do the same thing. We'll all go watch it. Yeah. This will I'm be excited. cinema. I'm pumped. You know what? I I don't know. I I feel almost underwhelmed that they didn't show more. Give us as, yeah, show more. It's the first one. 
That's how it is now. You get to watch 30 seconds of the CGI world that you're in and then one line, one voice line. And they're like, you gotta wait another six months until it's one fucking month before the movie comes out and then you get to hear everything. When does the movie come out again? April. So April? That's Why like six January? months now. That's what I'm telling you. They wait forever to make a trailer now. That took six forever. Months. People have been waiting. I've been waiting. I'm people. I know. I'm people. I'm waiting for that one. <laughs> Dang. Absolutely wild. Bonkers. Right. Deranged. Can't wait. I think Can't it's, wait uh... for this episode. This episode's going to be so sick. All right. Yeah. Let's get into it. Check the sub count lately. No, dude. What's going on with you this week? I, I could care less about that if I'm being quite honest. So. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, let's yep. just get off the pod. Right? Yeah. It's not a big deal. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I think I'll just check it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, no big deal. It's probably on like one. I don't know. Night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Cool. You can close the app now. It doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. Sign out of YouTube. It doesn't matter. I, there's no wetsuits or I'd, We'd lie to them anyways about the whole wetsuit thing. It was just some people that would do it. I would never. Oh, no, dude. Why would I sweat my balls off for somebody? I don't even fucking know. No way, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my we gosh, did, guys, it, did it, guys! <laughs> Woo! I was actually Big shocked class. that it said 101. Yeah, I know. I saw I that was, today. That was I was a, like, I could tell you. Hey, who was, number, who was the first who's one the again? Yeah. yeah, that threw me for a loop because I'd only read that one time today, and you're like, yeah, 101. And I was like, wait, what? what? Who threw off the double O? What's going yeah. on here? <laughs> take that sub back. Yeah. Don't take it back. <laughs> Stop. Tell your grandma to unsubscribe. No, yeah, thank you guys. Look at this. What? What's today? Today's the fifth of freaking October. Crazy. Uh, and or if you're from the future, it's actually yeah. October seventh. Holy crap, dude! A lot of <laughs> dude. Stuff that's have insane, happen. dude. Oh my god, dude. Russia could do so many things in two days. Who knows that's what the world's true. gonna be like? <laughs> or Portugal. Or or, or or Costa Rica throwing them out there. Just, yeah, if we're being honest. Yeah, if I'm being quite honest. Come on. What's Portugal doing? What are they cooking? Uh, I'd like to address anyone that's here from the Reels. Thanks, guys. Yes. Or for the YouTube shorts. You know, there's, yeah. There's a few of you guys in there. If you yes, guys, there if are. If you guys are watching the full thing, the full product, thanks for liking the teaser. Uh, we put yeah. those out there so we can get more people on our on the on the paddle out. and. That's what we're here for. Yeah, just the more the merrier. The lineup's never too crowded. Exactly. Here. No uh, way. If you're new here, yeah, we do these every week. Mm -hmm. we talk about whatever we want. We are we Literally. ourselves as the the only, only, only surf comedy fusion podcast. If you've heard otherwise, guess what? They lied. We did it first. We did do it first. And no one's done it before. Our... No one will do it after. You if you have advantage. seen that, let me know personally, yeah, and I'll, I'll take care it. of it. I'll, I'll, see our, I'll our scrub it. Is. Yeah, because it's there, us. There's like dedicated YouTubers, but not like not YouTubers. like podcasts. No way. Yeah, if there is, if let me there, know. If there's like surf podcasts, they're just like, yeah, this this week in the WSL finals and the only guys that are watching that are bleach hair, blue eyes. There's literally no other audience. The guys that live on HB, the dude sitting or, on I the mean, pier. Like, yeah, I was gonna say like maybe if you're. In the island dedicated yeah exactly yeah, but I don't, I mean, I what a loser all, god oh my god yeah with uh, i'm gonna listen to the surf podcast <laughs> Jeez, all right go make something happen yeah dude literally just go surf literally get better in the lineup what are you doing i mean that yeah that, i'd go crazy anyways thanks guys for joining us yes uh, yeah we're we've uh we've been kind of refocusing our efforts here on this podcast to to make this as as bingeable and bite-sized as possible for you we yes we really have and uh we appreciate yeah it's any new viewers for that yeah, yes thanks, so but speaking of viewers you know what we have to do every week but this time i made sure i came prepared i'm looking at the analytics right now and uh Let's see it. it's telling me that 93 percent of you yeah that's a that doesn't make any sense hold on let me check these analytics in the last 28 days, watch time from subscribers. That's that's a very contradictory statement. Sorry, guys. This is getting very convoluted very quick. 
that 93% of people aren't subscribed and six are? I'm not quite understanding those numbers, but that just means that you have to hit the bell so that I do. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell. Then I then I will understand the numbers, right? Yeah. Um, then I'll see the 100, but it'll be 100% subscribe. And I'll say, oh, I get it now. Our viewers are awesome and funny, not silly and bad. Not so please bad. stop watching us without the subscribe button on. And drop a comment. Drop a good, Let us know what you want to see. I'm being dead serious about this. Anything you want us to talk about. Who knows? Will we talk about it? Hell no. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Guys. I'm over here checking analytics. He like, doesn't you know. need to stone face. He didn't think that was funny at all. Um, no, seriously, if you. <laughs> if you're on audio, I made a stone yeah, face. He, yeah, he one. pooped his pants. Uh, silly face. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyways. Um, hit the like, hit the bell. Yes, hit the like, hit the bell. Audio only, hit the five star. Hit the I review. I, could go up and do this all day. I really I meant to check to that do. today, but I, I'm i pretty sure no one has left a review yet. If you have, much appreciated. But I'm speaking to somebody in the future because you guys are a bunch of losers that haven't done it yet. So please do it ASAP. Leave us a review. I want to read hate mail as soon as we open the podcast. I want to start my day like, oh my God, why did I start this thing? You know? The best way to start my day. Yeah, true. It's hating my life. Exactly. One might say it's a... Let's give them the three seconds first. Okay. We're going to give you that classic three seconds. That was three seconds, baby. If you're an audio listener, I did something so funny. It's too bad you won't see it. Damn. That's rough. Three seconds of funny. Messing out, huh? Make it into the TikToks if it was Uh, Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Probably not. Uh, but yeah, maybe. Also, if you're from YouTube Shorts, we post the same things on TikTok. Maybe go follow we do. us there. We do. Help, need help us out. TikTok's we only hard. have only two people follow us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> it's just uh, yeah, exactly. We just follow us, so anything would help, guys. Anyways, we're gonna get right into it this week. We're gonna paddle right out, as one might say, right into a setback. Oh no. What are the biggest oh, setbacks? No, no, no. I want to start with the other thing. I've been dying to know. Oh, he's dying to know what I wrote on there. Because I actually wrote stuff down, guys. I um, you carried the notes this week. Goddamn right I did. Thank you. Yes. I was very proud of myself. You guys don't get to see him. You never will. Never, ever, ever will see the notes. I I over my dead body, up. bro. I've not, I haven't either, actually. I've almost, and then like... Nah, it just doesn't, doesn't happen. happen. It just doesn't happen. It's the vault. Not going to happen. That's the secrets. I could have, like, the cure to cancer in there, and I wouldn't show anybody. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I wanted to talk about how I got Edward on this app, and uh, it was the greatest decision I've ever made just based on the fact that uh, I get to see, you know, and be real. That's what I'm talking about. You get on the app, and you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to react to somebody's. And sometimes, like, you're scrolling through. Sometimes you see people you don't want to see, and you're like, ah, darn, that's a bummer. They reacted to that. Um, But then you do see funny things. Somebody reacts to yours, and they're like, that's funny. Edwards will be funny no matter what. Um, Damn it, I should have taken a screenshot so you guys could see it. We could post. Funniest shit ever. Yeah, we can. We'll put it in post. I think it's it's fucking hilarious when I post. Like it doesn't matter what it is. And Edward's shot is this, and it's his Air Force Maxes just in the camera. Like, hey, by the way, by the by the way, it's so funny. You can't see his face at all. It's just the headphone. <laughs> me po- and it's me pointing at the AirPods Max. Like, I could be having, like, the worst day ever. Like, oh, my God, dude, just got in a car accident. And it would be... <laughs> He'd be like, dude, so sad to hear that. <laughs> oh, my God, my grandma died. Yeah. Damn, so sorry to hear that. I can hear things really well in these AirPods Maxes, though. <laughs> Here's the case to my AirPods Max. <laughs> So yes, I think it's hilarious whenever I, I see those. No, I seriously. Yeah. If you don't follow him on Be Real, you're messing out on we'll AirPods Maxes. Comments, yeah. <laughs> drop your Be Real in the comments. Yeah, your and your uh, yeah birth certificate, please. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, the first ever uh, photo comment on a YouTube video. <laughs> no, you know what? 
the first ever comment on a on a YouTube photo comment on a YouTube video yeah. would be me pointing to my AirPods. Yes, exactly. Video. Someone would yeah be the biggest clickbait of their life for like the coolest video you ever seen. Sick video, bro. Check these out. You ever seen these? It'll be like a video of like a hate crime. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Oh my god! <laughs> Like the most despicable shit possible. This is terrible. I can't like believe it, anybody would ever do this. It's a video that belongs on like best gore or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. On like a Reddit like that's internet gore. The most, the most like deep web, dark yep. web video is that should yeah. be even like, like it makes me uncomfortable to think about. It and I just yeah. comment a picture. Of my exactly. Yeah. Answers. Yeah. Damn, that's wild. Yeah. You know what? I, I had a feeling it would be that just yes. because I've just. I like to spam it here and there. Uh, oh, yeah, you had something to say? I was going to say, yeah, so you're, that is the only pre-saved reaction that is acceptable to me on the app. Like, say it's that. fucking hilarious because it's, it's comedy. Everybody else is that does their little, like, pre save No, 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 no. It's you got to hit the instant lightning. It's boring. I see that. I'm calling certain people out. I won't say their names specifically, but I see it, and I'm like, you took this picture, like, two months ago. That doesn't count. You have to do... You have to be hashtag be real right now. Take a picture. Of you. You're taking a dump. Be real, dude. You just saw my be real. Yeah. Please take a picture right. of yourself. This is the claim. This is the claim. Yes. Pre-saved reactions are not being real. No. No, they're not. That's that's literally – it's quite literally the opposite the most, of being real. The most contradictory thing on the app is pre-saved reactions. Is a pre-saved reaction, Unless which I don't know iconic, why they did it. Like it mine. didn't used to be like that. It used to just be instant reactions, and then they gave the fucking stupid... Now I see it, because I did it three times. I didn't realize I was saving different reactions, but I have three different faces on there, and I'm like, I'm never going to use these. There is one that's funny. It's like a horrified look. <laughs> I should I should do it on yours tomorrow so that you can see it. And I'll just, <laughs> my be real tomorrow is just going to be me pointing to my phone. I'll be, I'll be driving, and I'll put them on. <laughs> And I'll just, yeah, a side profile shot and just, just shot a mug real. shot. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag just being real. Got an offender bender. <laughs> it's me with my AirPods Max. <laughs> the, the cop standing, standing in the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slap the cuffs on. Sorry, he's got AirPod Maxes on. He can't hear you, bud. I uh, yeah, I just they're like reading me my rights, and I, just I was say they're reading you your rights. <laughs> 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 you put on the new Arctic Monkey song, yeah. yeah. Throw it, yeah. I'm reading your Miranda rights. Sorry, what? Oh. I couldn't hear you. Yeah. You just see me go <laughs> scrolling using the little dial. Yeah. Turning it up all the way. <laughs> we'll say one of the most satisfying noises. Ever. I was about to say that was a pretty that, good impression. Hearing that dial turn. The little. I hear it every day. Yeah. My, I sound like a horse, but yes. So. Sorry, yeah. Spent a band on him. No biggie. A band. Yeah. Half a band, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> These are insanely priced. Holy shit, Edward, is he rich, bro? It's funny because, like, I, I tell people, I'm like, dude, I can't make it. I can't drive over there. <laughs> I don't have no gas. I'm sorry. There's no, no gas. Like, what are you car. wearing, bro? Earpods like, Max. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, dude, I can't make it. I don't have gas. Sorry. Anyways. We'll jump right into the next <laughs> That is uh, what I was talking about before. Going back to it, we paddling back out. For like three weeks, guys. Yep, definitely have wanted to talk about it for sure. Um, the biggest setback for beginners. If you are, um, hopefully you listen to this and you're like, damn, I really hope they talk about surfing one day. That would be super cool. Today's yeah, the day, guys. guys. New Year, this is the day for you guys. Seriously, this is great for. I hope all the new viewers are turning turning in right now. <laughs> I want yeah, Sorry, we're just sit like that from now on. Yeah, to sit like this and not look at me at all. And then yeah, when we when we're back in person, I'm we'll have a separate camera set up that's dedicated to the side of his head. The fan cam. Yeah, the, yeah, the fan cam. It's like it's you're on Twitch though, so it's like, oh my God, he has AirPod Maxes on today. Yeah. Oh my God, go Did off, King. Up. Yeah, just donated five hundred dollars. Buy another pair, bro. Chat keeps crashing. Get different colors, bro. Just 
Everyone's um, donating me enough money to buy a new <laughs> pair. Different color, different day. Go, come on, bro. Wear it a day, throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, the biggest setback for <laughs> surfers. Oh my god, bro! It's so off topic. Um, the yeah. So if you are thinking about getting into surfing, here's a little list of like things that you might encounter or run into or maybe even people have told you before um but yeah the biggest setback so i have a few things but i was wondering if you had anything off the top of your head edward that you uh, wanted to say for that number one biggest setback i'd say other surfers fair enough yeah I, that's probably in my number one that's actually a really good one are the, yeah the ones that are doing it the best and yes in front of you because they make you think, like, what am I doing, bro? What am I doing out here, you know? Sometimes you're, you're sitting in the lineup and... How am I supposed to... Exactly. How am I supposed to compete? Wave. <clears throat> exactly, yeah. Like, you're like, oh, I'm pretty decent. And then you sit out there and you're like, I'm I'm going to go home, by the way. Uh, yeah. I I don't need to be out here. It does not matter. Um, yes, wow, that was a really good one. That was a good way to start that off. Damn. Um, I guess going more like physical things um need to be super fit by the way uh no no body shaming here so i said board size uh a lot of people i feel like i've said uh so many times in the past 30 Wait, seconds i, I want to I die i don't think you need to be like necessarily like slim to be in, no, no, no 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 super conditioned or anything that was a joke that was why yeah I, 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 that been yeah conditioned. Yes, that would have been. Sorry. I should have made that clear. That was a joke. I did Fat not. People in the yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You cannot be over a certain weight and sit in the water, bro. What the you hell? Check your BMI at the uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. They have one of those doctor scales at the water. They check your height and then they check your like weight they and they adver- go. To, they advertise like the wetsuit just won't stretch to a certain Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only will stretch to so and so inches. Our trunks are size Damn it. And below. Damn it. Yeah, it's like Brandy Melville, but except for wetsuits, one size yeah. fits all, but not Waist fits size all. 29 and below. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not even size 30. <laughs> 29 <laughs> Get out of here. even if you're like the super ripped guy it's like nope uh, cut it you, why you bulked yeah. bro come on bro you gotta be skinny um no anyways going into what i was gonna say so board size um you don't want to be on a small board when you start. There's nothing wrong with small boards. You know what I'm saying? Gets the job done. But um, you don't want to be on a small board. Eh, yeah, unless it doesn't. But I've heard, you know, small boards are just as capable as big boards of getting the job done. Um, anyways, but yeah, so you want to start on something that's obviously longer. Um, I started off on something that was shorter. And I, it probably did set me back quite a bit. I mean, it was still fun, obviously. Anytime you get in the water is a blessing, and it's fun to be out there. So it absolutely just rip it up, have a blast. Um, but being on the longer board is going to help you out a lot because it pushes you. Like the the water catches that board much, much more than a short board. You're like fighting for your life on a short board to get into a way. You're basically just swimming on a short board <clears throat> to an yeah. extent. I We've say, talked about uh, that a few episodes ago, but yeah. The, the best instance I've had of like, wow, there's borderline nothing in between me and just like being just full, like swimming here. Yeah. Was when I was surfing Mexico. I probably surfed the like probably the board with the least amount of volume ever. Really? That I, that I had ever surfed. It You're just six, sitting three, completely underwater. Just, like, 18 liters. And yeah, I think I could just. I could just push that thing to the bottom of the ocean <laughs> if I wanted to. Like I That's perfect, though, for duck no, diving. It yeah. yeah. It was, it, it was a it, spot got nice and steep, you know? Stuff hmm. like, you needed that kind of board. You, I was about to say, you needed it, though. I think the, the closest I've gotten to that is Sean's board. When we went to Porto that one time, yeah. we were all switching in the water. I've never, like, sat underwater like that before. I was like, oh, my God. How is this oh, guy? he learned on his dad's board. It's I know. Props to Sean. Shout out yeah. to Sean. Yeah, he like huge credit for learning on shit like that i don't know how he did it but anyways board size that is a setback i would say go to if you don't have a board or you're on a short board or something it's definitely attainable to just learn on that i'm not going to say it's impossible it's not it's just going to be tougher for you but go to costco buy a phone board be a kook for a while get the hang of it maybe save up for a real board or go on <clears throat> ebay somewhere um and find, you know, maybe a used board that obviously is not super damaged, but, you know, reasonable price. Because 
this is an expensive hobby. I will admit that it's not the cheapest thing once you get into it and you start building your quiver of boards. So I'd say uh, if you can, and I mean, you're, if you're not loaded, because most of, you know people who are learning to surf at a younger age and people like us that you're just out there to have uh, fun. Yeah, yeah, don't have like a lineage of surfing <clears throat> and like accessibility. Yeah, buying used is a really good thing for the market. Yep, because surfboarding, like surfboard making, is like probably one of the most wasteful. And environmentally damaging things. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. For the, the sport that claims to care the most about, you know, preserving the environment. The environment and, and, and it does. You know, but the fact that, like, the making of that board. That board, yeah. Is hurt, like, hurts the environment a lot. A lot yeah. more than you think. It's unfortunate. It, it looks just cool, the, but, yeah. yeah. It cool. It, it's hard to throw that kind of stuff away. Yeah. Fiberglass so, and all that. I was about to say, yeah, ki- yeah, fiberglass, all that stuff that goes into it, so... Buy secondhand if you can, but don't don't buy like the shittiest board possible. You want to actually be able to ride it. You don't want like a waterlogged board. There's some good stuff out there. <clears throat> like I I my fish board that I ride is actually secondhand and it's fantastic. I do need to fix it. The back, the for anybody that's new to this, a fish board is when it's more pointed. I really wish my finger could actually draw and you guys could see, but um. It points, and then it has two little... It goes like this at the tail. Like this at the end. Yeah, exactly. Um, mine is chipped uh, on both of those things, and it has Same. been for a while. I need to get that. F- it's like not major, but it's enough where I'm like, if I keep keep going with this, I might screw it up and waterlog it. But anyways, I want to move on to more setbacks besides board size and stuff. So uh, I'd say, depending where you are, water temperature. Okay. You can have the accessibility for a, for a wetsuit. That's a good one. I do like that. Yes, water temperature. I hadn't thought about that, but you it's ever true. Try I mean, to surf and it's like, oh, I don't need a wetsuit. Yeah, exactly. Take two steps in the water. You get to the beach and you're like, it's kind of windy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that the the temperature drop between on the sand and standing on shore is like huge. Insane. We feel it all the time. We'll get there and we're like, wow, it's a nice, it's a really nice day. And then you stand at the, you're not even in the water yet, and you can feel the breeze, and you're like, whoo gonna be brisk out there it's still got a little wind chill and the water especially in southern california uh where we're from we get all that glacier sunny, runoff southern so we california, get the it's yeah sunny, it's sunny, sunny. The beach. <clears throat> yeah exactly weird. um <laughs> it's so Seriously, weird, weird it does not make any sense um i chose to just live in the the, the doom and gloom now up here in san francisco but yeah. um so we get a lot of the cold water because we get all the glacier runoff from up north. So our water is extremely cold, especially up here where I'm living now. I haven't even stepped foot in the water yet, but uh, I am dreading the day because it only gets colder from this point on in the year. And I'm like, Ugh, it's going to be rough if I do. So, yeah, water temperature. That's a good one. I didn't think about that. Um, Should we cap it off at one more? Yes, we can cap it off on one more. So... I guess I'll skip my other ones. I'll just say it. I'll honorable mentions then, just like list them off since I had them written down. Um, Placement on the board. You might not even realize it. I've had like old guys, which are sometimes the best teachers out there. They're just like, hey, like sit farther back on the board. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I wasn't catching this many waves before. It's as simple as that. Like if you're sitting too far up and you feel like you're purling every time, you probably want to scoop back. You have to find what works for you because everybody's different size. So um, yeah, placement on the board. Uh, not surfing at the right breaks. You might be surfing. You can't just start learning surfing at trestles. Sorry. It's a more advanced break. You know, you have to <clears throat> go to places that cater that a little bit more. Once you get more comfortable, you can. But, yeah, surfing at the right break uh, kind of goes along with water temperature in that, you know, same vein. So make sure you're going to the right place. Um, and then if you don't mind me capping it off with the last one, I wanted to say yourself sometimes is the biggest setback mentally. We are... Very much, it's so easy, like we were saying at the beginning, to get out there and just get down on yourself and feel like you don't know what you're doing in the beginning. Because you don't, and you're just messing around. But that's the point. You just, you're just you out there to have fun. Like, the fact that we even get to sit in the water and, like, harness the power of a wave and ride it, as corny as that sounds, like, it's a huge, like, uh, privilege. That's the word. Yeah. So, like just get, said, get out there. It's, it's a blessing. It's a, you know, yes. it's, it's fun. You have a good time. You don't, exactly. Maybe, maybe you don't even remember it, but it's a great time. Exactly. Not everybody has insane. the ability to do it, you know, around I, the world. So uh, I have a buddy in my my surfing my surfing group. His name's uh, his name's Shaddy. Shout out to this guy, Shaddy. Shaddy. Cal State, Cal State Fullerton Woo-hoo. surfing group. Um, you. 
I helped this guy out with his board placement, and within the span of one session, he went from like nose diving every wave, missing every wave, to two paddles in, and he's on. It's awesome. He, he was he was fantastic. He was like hell this yeah. Is like he's like now I know why people like commit their lives. To this. Exactly, dude. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. This guy. Yeah, shout. He's like I was like. I was feeling it. I'm psyching. I'm ca- he was catching, and he was backing it up too. He was, he was walking. That's so lot. cool. You know, he was that's amazing. Every wave. You know, it, I was psyched for him. I was like, dude, that's awesome. You know. So yeah, you don't get down on yourself. Go out there, have a good time. We take this sport too seriously sometimes. I get up there and I act like I'm in a competition with myself, but at the end of the day, we're all just trying to ride well, it's fun the to water. Push yourself. Just don't, no, it it is don't fun, but don't yourself, you know? exactly don't beat yourself up. Don't go home and be fun. like, Ocean's I should have I should have gotten more waves. Like, what the hell was I doing? It's all good. Waves will still be there. Exactly. So that was our, our biggest setbacks. Um, let us know if you want to talk about anything else, like surfing related like that. Um, or if you any, if you guys enjoy that. I hope you do. That's kind of kind of our brand. So, yeah. yeah. You know, hope, you, brand, hope yeah. you like that. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Um, anyways. Um, How long do you think the, the – by the way, yeah. <laughs> this is going to – this is in the, the past – Yes. Relative to uh, the bit we did at the very beginning. Okay. Mario trailer reaction. Yeah. Um, uh, how long do you think that's going to take? Should we do one more bit and then end it off? Um, what do you mean, like the the Mario thing? Yeah, the length. It's that's funny, a good question. Like, if you're just listening to this, like you already sat through the whole thing, our whole reaction yeah, to that. That's true. Um, I don't know. That's tough. Um. We should just end off with the with your fan castings. We can do that, yeah. Yeah. The other ones aren't that. Yeah, academic limit, weapon and all that. That's not that important. We can but do that next week. We can do that next week. Damn, I had a good good segue lined up for that, too. It's all good. Oh, man. Um, no, it's okay. I realized because I was looking at the time, too. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, we're already there. Um, okay. Yeah, we can talk about the, the Mario movie. Yes. Okay. I'm mentally preparing for that because I was so ready to like be like, get us so transitioning, you know. Sounds like Shouty was a surfing weapon, bro. Academic weapons. Weapon. Um, okay, let's do this thing. Let's jump back in. Yeah, so I mean, this, like we said, that beginning bit was in the future, so we don't even know what we're talking about, guys. But <laughs> no, that, that shit was, was crazy, crazy, huh? Dude, that was, was absolutely wild. Damn. Wish I knew. I really do. Um, I really liked when Chris Pratt said that slur. Yeah. <laughs> as his opening line. I really liked when Charlie Day just stayed in character as Charlie from It's Always yeah. Sunny and played he Luigi. Didn't say a single like cohesive sentence. I was about to say, yeah, he didn't say anything cohesive. He was just <laughs> he's huff- Luigi's just huffing paint. Every time Luigi says it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just him. It's Chris Pat Mario asking him a question like so we're gonna go save the princess, right? No. I think my the my favorite thing about this cast is that yes. Jack Black is Bowser. Dude, I that looked that up again today. Forgot about that. It's hilarious. I, I can't Seth wait to hear it. Kong. Yeah, bro. I know. I was like, dude, Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong, bro. <laughs> 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 What if you just Donkey kind of them, Kong? Hopefully, like this, like lives up. I mean, no, it, I, it I, it yeah, might've, it, it, hey, it, it might have, it might not have. Who it, knows? It yeah. uh, I was trying to like, I wish I could do a Jack Black impression because I'm really trying to imagine him as Bowser, like being like the the man that he is, like the the power on screen of like Bowser being Jack Black. I think it's funny because his voice is so high pitched compared to like. Oh, oh, Bowser. Yeah, I know. Like, I can see Bowser talking. And you don't imagine, like, Jack Black being like, ah! Yeah, and, like, doing all this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Skadoosh, you know? Yeah, skadoosh. <laughs> Not anyway. Bowser. What you, uh, yeah, would you put down here? Let's speculate for this movie. So, we got, we got a Mario and Luigi, correct? So, we need... They're opposites, or they're like you know, I okay, guess they're enemies. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. need a you need a Waluigi and a Wario. So, shout out to this wonderful Twitter user. Let me pull it up. I got pull it in the, the notes. Screen, I'll share yeah. the screen share. 
I'm all ready to go, guys. I got all of the links ready for you guys. I think we're at a record low of one screen share this, this episode. Honestly, shout out to us. I'm proud of us uh, for that. That helps, I, that helps me, guys. Yeah. And before, I, you know, the whole looking for a face for the thumbnail also helps me. But yeah. here's our Wario and Waluigi. Isn't this fantastic? That Look at this. Wait, Absolutely perfect. Right, I, what's I'm, up, guys? We're going to take a break from the episode to thank the sponsor of the episode, all Pro Builders. Take it away, Adam. All Pro Builders was founded on honesty and integrity. It was founded in 1989, by the way. You can go to allprobuildersinc.com. Right there it says on the t-shirt if you can't see it. If you can't read, I'm sorry. I just told you. I'm not spelling it for you. Uh, if you can't read, give them a call at 714-255-0131. My dad will personally come to your house, and that's not a weird thing. He will be there to measure and say this is how much it's going to cost and you won't regret it because at all pro builders you dream it dream it we build it it. i'm assuming it's in that order that danny devito is wario and willem dafoe is waluigi this is more so like a yeah you know what yeah it's like a physical casting but it does just make sense like it just makes sense that's them that's that's the one like just look at Danny Danny DeVito. Uh, that'd be he hilarious. Wario, I feel he like. really does, bro. He'd just be living like Wario normally. No, you know what? I feel like Willem more defi- more embodies Waluigi than I oh yeah. I can see like the green goblin faces and then oh I should do that. Maybe uh if I'm super cool and funny, um I can add a mustache to each of these guys or throw the hat on them too. Maybe they'll be in the thumbnail. Who knows? It would work. They absolutely look like their characters, even though you wouldn't see them. This is an animated movie, so it's not like you're going to see any of these people. But still, it is funny, very, very funny to imagine Mr. DeVito and Mr. Defoe as these characters. I think that's the funniest thing is that going into this like movie, I'm just imagining I'm going to see <laughs> yeah, these I know. people. You know? <laughs> yeah, and bro. That's like, the thing that... like. Is throwing me off the most because it's just going to be their voices stitched. On yes, these, exactly. You know? We're not going to none of that. Literally, not a single bit of it will be. Yeah, it it, it's action. it's very very weird to me that it it's going to look like the characters that we know and love, just like regular ass Mario and regular ass Luigi, and it's like. But voiced by Charlie Day. I exactly. Hope this, yeah. I hope this like defines a generation. It's these like, guys instead. Be, yeah, I yeah. hope so too. I hope it absolutely defines uh, that would be so funny like this is this would be probably some kids favorite movies growing up they'll be like dude remember when the mario movie came out that was crazy bro like how we have shrek and shit man do that's we have, weird uh, to think about do we have yoshi casted no so um let me uh let me pull up the other cast list or the oh, yeah, actual cast up. list sorry um not the fan casts but Mario movie. Here it is. So <clears throat> it's basically all the main characters, but we don't yet. Um, we got Chris Pratt as Mario, obviously. Uh, Miss Anya Taylor Joy as Princess Peach. It's so hard not to imagine all these people. Yeah, I think it's funny that someone just threw the actual Mario voice actor in the cast, even though he's definitely not in the movie. But um, yeah, if you guys have never seen what Mario looks like, that's what he looks like. That's the voice of Mario. That's it's me, Mario. Yeah. Um, Charlie, it's, these people all, uh, the first three just kind of look, not Chris Pratt, but I guess Anya Taylor Joy and Charlie Day kind of just look like their no, characters. they embody their characters. Um, I don't understand the Chris Pratt thing. I don't, I don't either. What happened? Dude's trying to voice every animated character because he's Garfield too. That was announced like shortly after oh they're like, God. he's going to be Mario. And then, so that's. I wish I had pulled some of those up. It's anytime there's like a new animated movie, people are like, "Gee whiz, I can't, I can't wait to watch Chris Pratt play like the main character, or like a beloved just, animated character." Do you think that we just took a break from Chris Pratt and now it's Chris Pratt season again? Maybe, yeah, it's Chris Pratt time. I guess. I think, yeah, it, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I feel like, I feel like this could be like the a case could be made for this. Honestly, you know? that's a fair point. I. He did kind of slip out of Hollywood, I guess, for a little bit. But we we took a Chris Pratt break as a society, and we're back. 
Back swinging, too. He is coming in full force. He's got the he's Mario movie coming out forward. next year. He just had Jurassic World. He's going to be Garfield. The Guardians are coming back. Chris Pratt's coming back in a huge way, guys. Absolutely insane way. Never expected I mean, this. Think about it. We had him in just about anything. Yes. In like 2014 through 2016. Yeah. He, the Lego he movie. The Lego movie. Guardians 1. Yes. Uh, the event, like both of the Avengers. Parks and Rec. And, and yeah, Avengers. All Avengers. of this. Insane. Um, yeah. God, Damn. What else was I didn't realize that Chris Pratt was literally in so many Jurassic pop culture World, things. The first Jurassic World came yes. out around that time. Yep. Everyone Damn. was like, "Oh my gosh, Jurassic World's back." Dude's making his Chris imprint. Pratt time. Yeah, Chris Pratt time. Part two. Chris Pratt time. Way, the return of Chris Pratt. Randomly took over Hollywood. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he did. Like out of nowhere. He was just I like, know, bro. He's like, hey, hey guys. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm the new face of Hollywood. <laughs> I'm the new face of Hollywood. No, no, no. He came out and he was like, I'm, I'm the new face of Hollywood. It's all right. It's okay. I'm the new face of Hollywood. He's got the, the Velociraptor hand yeah. everywhere he goes now. I'm Mario. It's okay. It's okay. I will say though, I think the, that Owen Grady is probably the dumbest character he's ever played. Yes, it is. It's 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 literally just. It's like, not a character. It's just I don't even know. It's like an archetype. Just have, cool yeah. guy. <laughs> cool velociraptor. Cool. Yeah, I was about to say cool velociraptor trainer guy that holds his hand out. Anyone could be that guy. I mean, if you just like carry yourself with like a cool demeanor. I was about to say, yeah, you furrow your brow a little bit the whole movie, and you just kind of you stand in like a ready to go stance the whole time. That's Anything could happen. Movie is him yeah. Going. Hey, these these Velociraptor things—they're uh, they uh, they're pretty smart. We should, <laughs> yeah. but I, I like they're ferocious. But I can control them, and it looks. Really I can cool. I respect you guys them. Can't do that. Right? Yeah, exactly. I'm on like, I'm on an emotional level with these things. And they're just like that. Uh, Velociraptors uh, <laughs> could make us some money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, could make us some money. It's, it's looking you up and down. Um, yeah, I don't know. They they literally could have casted him as Chris Pratt in yeah. Jurassic World, and nothing would have and been it, different. That would have been way funnier. If he was way Jurassic. funnier, just himself. Yeah. Well, because like, what kind of name is Owen Grady? I don't like that name. It's a boring ass name. Owen Grady. Something about the Grady. Dwight I don't Grady. think I've ever met somebody with the last name Grady. If you have the last name Grady, drop it immediately. Change your last name. <clears throat> horrible last name top 10 worst last names yeah grady check these out grady you would never get these not if you, if your first name's grady whatever if your last name yeah, that's grady. okay yeah yeah sorry right. i don't make the rules don't know what to tell you slash your own tires yeah but going back to this cast stellar cast can't wait didn't know yeah. Seb yeah. sebastian maniscalco's in it love this guy great comedian you ever watch any of his stuff i have not uh, he's he's hilarious. He's an Italian guy. He, fantastic. I would do an impression, but it's all right. You don't know who he is, so it's not as funny. And most of our viewers probably don't know who he is, so it won't be funny to them as well. Who is he? Um, who would be an alternate person to play Mario? Who would literally? Be? I don't I know. Like Nintendo was just like, what do we do with this? Who's who do you put in that role? That's not just the Mario? the original guy. Um, damn, that's wild. That's like I'm going back to the Garfield thing. <laughs> Garfield and the, you remember the Garfield movie that came out when we were kids? The he's like in the real world. Yeah. Uh, well, that's Bill is Murray. You know what I mean? One? Is that what it is? Um, for Garfield. Yeah. Let me see Garfield. Um, let's look it up. Movie 2022. No, oh, it's 2024. Damn, gotta wait a few years. Darn. All right. Um, oh, everything's getting announced. Love for all and James. <laughs> okay, yeah, this um, is worse. I feel like, dude, there's no way this is real because this is like two years out. But, <laughs> dude, <laughs> <laughs> John Cena, <laughs> Bill Murray, the original Garfield comes back. Garfield, No Way Home. Um, oh my gosh, did you see that about Blues Clues? Yeah, bro, I did Blues see that. Home. Yeah, bro, there's th all three of them are there. That's awesome. That made my... I was just like, oh my gosh. What? It's my Blue's Clues with his Blue's Clues. Um, 
how did Chris, God, how I saw somebody that was like, I bet you Chris, Chris Pratt made a deal with the devil and he has to do all these Hollywood animated movies now. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, there's no other explanation. All right. I'll let you keep your fame, Chris Pratt. But you have to do mass marketed, very easy to make <laughs> reboots. Children's, like, yeah, lovable, reboots, animated movies. Cartoon characters. Yeah. He's like, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I don't want to get canceled. They're saying I'm anti vax. All right, Chris. You're going to have to play some cartoon characters. Not just any. Some of the most recognizable cartoon <laughs> characters ever. Who's next? Casper. Charlie Brown. I would, I would like to see Charlie Brown be played by Chris Pratt. That would be so funny. I'm imagining the the football bit from Charlie Brown where L- Lucy always pulls it out from under him, but it's like Chris Pratt yelling instead, and he's like, "All right, this time I got it." Super stoic, heroic Charlie Brown voice. Yeah, and it's like a grown ass man. Yeah, and then you hear whoop 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 whoop, and he falls down. Bonk. And Snoopy's played by Benicio del Toro. <laughs> <laughs> Virtually every un- word is just you, you can't you can't understand anything he's saying. It's that would be so funny. <laughs> Benicio del Toro. Like that would like the least amount of sense. Yes. The best Snoopy cast ever. Please, Hollywood, if you're listening, make Chris Pratt, Charlie Brown, and Benicio del Toro Snoopy. <laughs> Don't cast anyone else either. No, literally nobody else in the movie except them. Um. Anyways, to kind of wrap our episode up, yes, our spec. What do What do you think is gonna happen in this movie, dude? What could happen? Uh, There's really only know. so many things that could happen. If you want to find out, watch the first ten minutes of this podcast. Yeah, exactly. We totally know what's gonna happen. We're just joshing. Or wait for the real. Or, no, don't tell him that. Don't tell him to wait for the real. Force him to watch the episode. Go hey, if back. You, if you watch this far in the episode. Shout out. Know, yeah, you shout out to you guys. You already watched yes. the whole thing. So. Hey, mom and dad. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> like, our, like our reels anyways. Yeah. Those help too. Mindlessly. Actually, though, hit the three dots and make us your favorite. It That will bring us to the oh, top of your feed. The beginning. We really should have. We do this oh, well. every time, well, but it's all right. We could, we could say this One day. in the future. Yeah, we yeah we could. Oh, yeah, we could say this in the future. We could say this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as always. Thanks, thanks, thanks for another week. Us. Thanks for a hundred subscribers. Yeah, at hundred and one. Thanks, guys. Oh yeah, but yeah, if you're new here, take it away, Edward. What should they do? We already told you guys in the beginning, but if you're here, damn, he's tired. For, first of all, yeah, thanks for paddling <laughs> out. You guys are gonna want to leave a like. Yes. Hit the bell. Yes. It's a five star rating if you're on audio. Switch to video if you're on audio. Yes. <laughs> Get yourself like, a pair of Pod Maxes. Just, yeah, go through go just go through our shorts or reels or TikToks yeah. or all of them. Just like like swipe up like just the whole time just uh, okay. They told me to do it so I have to. Repost and link. Yes. Everything. Repost. On TikTok you can do that. Hit the little three dots, or the share or whatever, and then go repost so more people see it. So your friends see it, and then your friends' friends see it. So well, thanks, guys. thank you. Thank you for another week. And we'll catch you, catch you on the paddle out. But In another one. Do you think the paddle out will look a little, a little different next time? Uh, Maybe not next time, but maybe the next time. The, after the next, next, time. next time? Okay. Perhaps. Okay. Perhaps, yes. All right. We love you guys. We'll see you later. Peace. Peace.